Here's a problem that's a stumper for many people. Two bicyclists ride toward each other on a long straight road, each with a constant speed of 10 kilometers per hour. When they are 20 kilometers apart, a bee begins flying from one wheel to the other at a steady speed of 30 kilometers per hour. When the bee gets to a wheel, it abruptly turns around and flies back to touch the previous wheel, then turns around and repeats the back and forth trip until the bikes meet and squish. Question. What total distance did the bee travel in its back and forth trips? This appears to be a complicated problem. After all, as the bee travels between the approaching bicycles, the distance closes and each successive trip by the bee is less and less until the wheels come in contact and squish. But maybe the problem is not complicated. When solving physics problems, an essential approach is first being clear about what is being asked. In this case, it's distance. More specifically, the total distance the bee travels. Distance, then you start your solution with D equals. That's a lot for it gets you started, which is often the hard part. Then you select a general equation for distance traveled at constant speed in a specific time. That's D equals average speed times time where d is the distance the b travels, equaling its average speed times the time of travel. We are given the b's average speed. It's 30 kilometers per hour. So d equals 30 kilometers per hour times t. What we aren't given is the travel time. Why do we focus on travel time and not, for example, on the successive distances between trips? We focus on time because our equation guides us to. Equations in physics are guides to thinking. So what's the time of travel? Thinking is also a part of problem solving. A little thought will show that the time of travel for the bee is the same time that the bikes travel 10 kilometers the midpoint of their initial 20 kilometer separation. So each bike travels 10 kilometers. Whoa, wait a minute. Common sense tells us that if you travel 10 kilometers at 10 kilometers per hour, it'll take one hour. Equations tell us the same thing. So distance traveled by the bee is 30 kilometers per hour times one hour equals 30 kilometers. Solved. The bee has traveled 30 kilometers during the multiple back and forth trips. Pose this problem to your friends and unless they focus on what is asked for and unless they use a general equation to guide their thinking, they may be stumped. Some people frown on using equations as a crutch in solving problems. Not me. I encourage equations. After all, they're shorthand statements of the physics involved. And that can be yum. Let me leave you with a question. If the two bikes traveled at twice the speed, 20 kilometers per hour, how many kilometers would the bee travel in its multiple trips before being squished? Think about that. And until next time, good energy.